people still teaching the same lies, man. Do you see the hatred on these brothers in these schools? Bring it out. They don't even, we got a camp. We got to die. They don't even speak to nobody. You ain't under Jehovah. You're not under the truth. You can put a precept group with it to me, then. Bring it out. Say it like the one they got, man. Go back to where we were, man. First Corinthians 1 and 9, 1 and 10. Somebody, he going to tell what I got to say. Things are going to get stronger and stronger. Right now, the truth just starting to really resonate. Because so many people have been doctrinated in what, what the Bible don't deal with? Sorcery, don't it? What else it don't deal with? Enchantment? That's right. It don't deal with enchantment. These will do it. What about witchcraft? That's right. So you say Christ broke the commandments to do this? Why would Christ be doing tricks and they want to kill him? If I came to your mama house and put my hand on her, on her chest, she was dead, she was woke. You telling everybody, man, he brought her back to life. Why well, don't want to kill a man like this? Yeah. Hmm? If you seen a man walking on water, would you be afraid of him? Bring it out. Think about it. Now, some of you drinkers, you know, that wine thing is a good thing. Man. <laughs> man, we ain't got to worry about nothing here, man. We, <laughs> hey, we need some more than wine right here, man. That's right. We're a little low. Hold on, where we at? How's he raising? Where he at? Is he here? Ain't he raising us up? Right. Study, rebuke, and study trying to get us in order. Study trying to get us to love each other. Read. It is written in the prophet. I, I never seen the prophets uh, uh, just cherry on some cherries. I mean, we, we got the ships that's going to be coming to get us out of here, man. Oh. What about the horses? What, what, what part of that is in the Bible? Bring it out. So some horses coming too? Bring it out. We're going to have the stallions, man. What about the donkeys? They're going to come and help too, ain't it? Yeah. But he got to hate that, man. How are we going to get the chariots in there? How are we going to get the um the miracles in there? Hey, any camps, any other camp did any miracles? Huh? Have any camp did, have any camp went and brought somebody back to life? Bring it out. Right out. They're killing them spiritually. That's right. Have any of them turned water into wine yet? Bring it out. Bring it out. I mean, I'm just, I say we're going to do greater miracles than he. So, mm -hmm. I just want to see which elder is going to be the first one to try to walk on water. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better have a life jacket on. <laughs> Read, uh, coming unto me today, they worrying about the ships and all that garbage, man. Right? Yeah. They're, not, they're not coming to Christ. Which elder is going to be the first one to try to walk on water? Yeah, 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 yeah. You better have a life jacket on. <laughs> Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect scattered through all four corners of this earth. Now it's just Bayan back again. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, I just wanted to get into a few scriptures in relation to the video you just saw. You know, as you can see, as the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai draws closer, the folly within Israel, especially with these so called leaders of Israel, is becoming more and more clear. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is making a clear distinction between who he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with. You know, these individuals are none other than the wicked scribes and Pharisees, the, the non believing, unfaithful spirits of old. And they're back today, fulfilling their lot in order to fulfill biblical prophecy. So yeah, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I wanted to get into was the book of Matthew, the 13th chapter. And I want to start at the, uh, the 13th verse, and it reads, Therefore, speak I to them in parables. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Therefore, speak I to them in parables. Because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. 
and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive, right? Because they lack the spiritual eye cell. Ultimately, they lack spiritual discernment. Continuing on, for this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, Salaki, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I shall heal them. Yeah, these individuals, you know, they have the they have the Bible. In the palms of their hands They're reading the scriptures They hear the words coming out of their mouth But they can't discern They can't understand They can't tap in Into the spiritual aspect Of the scriptures Because they lack spiritual discernment You see They lack the discernment They, they, they don't have any Any level of faith They're, they're low level they're low-level believers, you know? They fall into that category of having the zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge, you know? Let's get, um, the next scripture I want to get into was the book of 1 Corinthians. The second chapter. And I want to start around the 12th verse. And it reads, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which, are, which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us of the Most High. Right? We've been given that unction. You know? That's why our faith, our belief, is, it's, it's, it's on another level because it's a gift that's been given to us from the Most High. The Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is allowing us to dwell in his courts. That's why we, we hold fast to the name. We understand the importance of the name. You see? Because the Holy Spirit is allowing us to understand these things. You see? And that's what these individuals over at uh, One Body Under Satan lack. They lack the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's not resting with that congregation, man. And it's, it's very clear to see. You know? It's very, very clear to see that. And it, again, it came out of the horse's mouth. He sat there and spewed rhetoric for, for, for two minutes. Maybe longer than that. Because that was just a short clip of, of their of their sit-down. You know? And no, we're not calling on. No, we're not coming to Christ. That's not, that's not the name of the Messiah. That's the name of a devil, man. Caesar Borgia. You devils are pretty much supporting white supremacy, man. But you're so blinded, you don't even realize that. Continuing on. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Right? This is not wisdom of the world. But which the Holy Spirit teacheth. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Because, see, they lack that spiritual eye cell. They don't have spiritual lenses. That's why they can't imagine in their mind the miracles that Yahweh Shai did in, 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 in the ancient times. They can't imagine those things to be true, nor can they fathom uh, the men of the Lord being given uh, superpowers or abilities to, you know, to walk on water or abilities to just disappear, you know, abilities to you know, lift a car. You know? They don't believe because they lack spiritual I sell. They don't have that spiritual lens. They lack the spiritual lens because the Holy Spirit's not resting upon them. You know, they lack the understanding. You know, they're, they're pretty much in the congregation of the dead. Continuing on, and here's my point. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. You see? But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. They're natural men. They're not spiritual men. They're carnal men. They're unbelieving, unfaithful, simple, low-level Jake. You see? And that's their lot. 
you know, they're, they're, they're here to fulfill Zechariah 13 and 8 unless the Lord wakes them up, you know, unless unless Yahweh Shai, you know, takes that evil countenance off them, you know, that evil spirit. Continuing on, for they are foolishness unto him. That's why they were mocking. That's why they were mocking uh, uh, the fact that we believe in the miracles. The fact that we believe in the fact that, you know, you know, some men uh, are going to receive, you know, spiritual powers. You know, they mock that. They mock that I the idea of that. You know, again, because they're natural, carnal, simple, low level men, you know, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. They lack the Holy Spirit, you know, point blank, period. They lack the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> spirit, Salakia. You know, I mean, if you ask me, they shouldn't even be teaching, man. You know, but they're going to have to pay for what they're doing. They're going to have to answer for it. Every word, you know, every word. Let's get uh, let's get Titus, the first chapter. Uh, in the 10th verse, and it reads. For there be many, Salakia, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. And that's those Jake. Out of our one body under Satan, man. That Jake was an unruly and vain talker. He was deceiving the individuals that were listening, that were hearing in on them, the sheep, you know, that were listening in, you know, because what what he's pretty much what he's pretty much pushing is a lack of faith doctrine. How do you guys expect to be delivered, man? How do you guys expect to 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 not end up in the hands? Of this devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Unless divine intervention takes place. Please tell me. I would love to know. I would love to know. Because this man is in full power. So unless we get help from on high, it is virtually impossible to escape this devil's hands, man. But y'all going to find out. Y'all gonna find out. Yeah, you, know, you you forgot that Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, he's heavy handed, man. So when he comes down on y'all, you know, when that rebuke comes from on high, y'all gonna know it. You know? Y'all gonna know it. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai is heavy handed, man. It's gonna be a, a situation when he comes down on you for your rhetoric you're spewing, man, and for what you're teaching. You're gonna be beaten with many stripes, man. The book of Titus, chapter 1, the 11, verse, and it reads, Whose mouths must be stopped. And Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to stop your mouth. I mean, look what happened to so-called Comfy. You know? I mean, should I say should I say more? Anybody that's in the know knows what's going on, knows where the where you know, knows knows the deal with that. You know? Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not. For filthy lucre sake. Right. I mean, you're calling on Cesar Bourget. If you ask me, you're collecting a 501c3 charter. If you ask me. That's what you're under. I wouldn't be surprised. You know? I wouldn't be surprised at all. Not at all. You know? You guys are you guys are just totally out of your mind. You're totally bugged out, man. Let's get the book of Psalms, the 92nd chapter. Uh, and the... I want to start from the top. Uh, verse verse 6 is my point, but we'll start from the top. Make it edifying. The book of Psalms, the 92nd chapter, in the first verse, and it reads, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Yeah, calling on Christ, one body under Satan, ain't going to get you home. 
Continuing on, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the sultry, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy works. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. Do you understand that? Do you understand the scripture? O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep. The fact that we're waking up, the fact that I woke up out of the darkness I was in, that's a powerful work. The fact that this devil, Esau, Eden, the so-called white man has been exposed for who he is, and those of us that woke up know he's our enemy. That's a powerful work. Because you got our people, they're drunken off of Stockholm Syndrome, man. They have no clue. They want this man to take part in our, in our blessing, man. You know? And these devils over at One Body Under Satan, they, they can't even understand, they can't even fathom the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They can't even fathom the power because they lack spiritual discernment, man. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. And all you clowns over at one body under Satan, all you bug outs, man, you're all fools. That's why you don't understand. That's why you don't, you don't believe in the idea of receiving, you know, uh, spiritual powers or, or being able to do miracles throughout the course of uh, Jacob's trouble, you know, as things progressively get worse, you know, because uh, ultimately the Lord's not dealing with you. You see, you're in it for your own lucrative sake and you're in it for the money bag. And that's about it. And it's, it's pretty much, it's pretty much self-explanatory, you know? It's pretty obvious, you know? You guys are wicked over there, man. You know, that's why scripture says this. Let's get, um, Wisdom of Solomon. Might have to tap in down here, Salakia. Salakia. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. The first chapter, I believe I want. And I want the fourth verse, but we're going to start from the top. Yeah, let's make it, you know, let's make it edifying. I have time. The book of Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 1, the first chapter and the first verse, and it reads, Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart and simplicity of heart. Seek him. Right. Heart going into the word Hebrew word lab, which, which transfers into your mind. Right. Think of the Lord with a good mind. Right. And, and simplicity of of mind, seek him. You see? But these devils, they don't have that healthy mind. They're, they're not that healthy seed. They're that seed that fell on bad ground. You know, stony ground. You know? <laughs> they fell on stony ground. Let's keep it going. For he will be found of them that tempt him not. And you devils are tempting him. You're tempting the fact that he has the ability to do these things that are spoken of in the Holy Scriptures. You know, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. So don't think, you know, any of you individuals over at one body under Satan, don't think that he's going to show his power to you. Don't think he's going to show himself to you in any way, shape or form. You don't believe you distrust him. You don't believe in this. You don't believe in the power that his son did, nor you, you do you believe in the fact that he can do anything on this side, you know? 
you you sat there and you mocked you the idea of 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 certain men getting you know you know you know certain abilities you know divine abilities you mocked the idea you don't believe the Lord's not dealing with y'all continuing on verse three for froward thoughts separate from the most high. And forward goes into contrary, man. Y'all contrary to the doctrine, obviously, because you don't believe. And his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. And y'all going to, I'm telling you, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is heavy handed. When he comes down on you, you're going to know it. And here's the point. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. You see? And you devils over there, you're unbelieving, man. You're unbelieving. So you can't, I mean, don't expect to be protected when all hell breaks loose. You know, because Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai knows your heart. You know, you can't fake the funk with Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The book of Hebrews, the third chapter. Starting out the eighth verse, and it reads, Harden not your hearts, as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their hearts, and they have not known my ways, and you are the same spirits. You are the same spirits that wandered in the wilderness for 40 years and, 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 and still lack belief at the end of the day. You're the same spirits that Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai was grieved with, man. And it's showing in your works today. It's showing in your works today, man. It's self explanatory. It's self-explanatory. Continuing on. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And here's the point. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief. I so like, let me read this over. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. You individuals over at one body under Satan. You guys have evil minds, man. That's why you don't believe. That's another reason why you don't believe. You know? And ultimately, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai is not dealing with y'all, man. Continuing on. And departing from the living power. Y'all through over there. Y'all through. And we're not insulted, you know, as far as your unbelief. As far as, far as the fact you don't believe in the, in the power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and that he's actually capable and able to, to, you know, distill power in an individual. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't, we, we're not bothered by your, by your, by your incredulity. You see? Because at the end of the day, it's going to go down. Let me get one more scripture and I'm going to close out. The book of Romans. Salakia. The book of Romans. The third chapter. Salakia. The book of Romans. Let's see here. That's why scripture says this. The book of Romans, the third chapter, starting at the third verse. For what if some did not believe? Should their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and might as overcome when thou art judged. You see? 
You devils over there are unbelieving, unfaithful, simple, wicked scribes and Pharisees of the days of old. And you're pretty much just fulfilling your lot in these latter days. And at the end of the day, you're going to fulfill the prophecy in Zechariah 13 and 8. Unless Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai calls you into his marvelous light and allows you to dwell in his courts. But now that's pretty much the, the point. Um, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Kal halali la Yahawa Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakwadash Shalom. You still teaching the same lies, man. Do you see the hatred on these brothers in these schools? Bring it out. That don't even, we got a camp. We got a dad. That don't even speak to nobody. You ain't under Jehovah. You're not under the truth. Nigga, put a priest that group with it to me then. Bring it out. Say it like the Randy Mack, man. Go back to where we were, man. First Corinthians 1 and 9, 1 and 10. Somebody, he gonna tell, like I say, things are gonna get stronger and stronger. Right now, the truth just starting to really resonate because so many people have been doctrinated in what, what the Bible don't deal with? Sorcery, don't it? What else it don't deal with? Enchantment? That's right. It don't deal with enchantment. These will do it. What about witchcraft? That's right. So you say Christ broke the commandments to do these why would Christ be doing tricks and they want to kill him? If I came to your mama house and put my hand on her, on her chest, she was dead, she was woke. You telling everybody, man, he brought her back to life. You don't want to kill a man like this. Yeah. If you seen a man walking on water, would you be afraid of him? Bring it out. Think about it. Now, some of you drinkers, you know, that wine thing is a good thing. Man. <laughs> man, we ain't got to worry about nothing here, man. We, <laughs> hey, we need some more of that wine back here, man. That's right. We're a little low. Hold on, where we at? How's he raising? Where he at? Is he here? Ain't he raising us up? Bring it out, boy. Study, rebuking, and study trying to get us in order. Study trying to get us to love each other. Read. It is written in the prophet. I, I, I never seen the prophet uh, uh, just... Cherry on some cherries. So, man, we, we got the ships that's going to be coming to get us out of here, man. Oh. What about the horses? What, what, what part of that is the, in the Bible? Bring it out. Man. So, there's some horses coming too? Bring it out. We're going to have the stallions, man. What about the donkeys? They're going to come and help too, ain't it? Bring it out. But he got to hate that, man. How are we going to get the cherries in there? How are we going to get the, um, the miracles in there? Hey, any camps, any other camp did any miracles? Huh? Have any camp did, have any camp went and brought somebody back to life? Bring it out. Bring it out. They're killing them spiritually. That's right. Have any of them turned water into wine yet? Bring it out. Bring it out. I'm, I'm just, I say we're going to do greater miracles than eat. So, mm -hmm. I just want to see which elder is going to be the first one to try to walk on water. Bring it out. <laughs> Better have a life jacket on. <laughs> we are. Uh, Coming unto me today, they worrying about the ships and all that garbage, man. Right now, yeah. they're not they're not coming to Christ. Which elder is gonna be the first one to try to walk on water? Yeah. 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 Better have a life jacket on. Yeah. Yeah.